What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am a regional flight attendant based here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Man, do I have a lot of stuff to catch you guys up on. It has been quite the last couple of weeks as you guys have heard. The airline industry is not doing well right now. Um, it's just, it's a scary time to be a flight crew member. So I'm gonna fill you guys in on that stuff and I have a trip that I'm going to take you guys on with me. It is a three day trip. Um, we will be in Greenville, South Carolina tomorrow. I think that's where I'm going. And then Denver the next day. Um, it looks like a pretty easy trip. Um, I do a flight to Houston, uh, working that flight and then deadheading to Greenville. So pretty easy day tomorrow um so yeah that's that part um next let's just talk about the coronavirus for a second um yeah it's a little nerve-wracking um i'm honestly not sure if i'm gonna be laid off at the current moment um right now it is march 14th so as of right now i'm still in the clear as you guys have seen you know all the airlines have been cutting back flights Flights are wide open, no one's flying, no, no one's at the airports. So that's the current situation right now. Um, I definitely am gonna vlog this entire experience because I want this to be something I look back on when I'm older and being like, wow, that crap was nuts. Like this whole thing is crazy. Um, it just happened so quickly and I guess the only thing I can say from this is just you can never take anything for granted um, this job is one of them and I'm glad I don't I genuinely love getting up and going to work every day or every time I have a trip and I love my company and I love my co-workers and we'll see what happens and we'll get through it eventually so I'm gonna go to bed right now it's 10 30 I have an 8 15 show in the morning which isn't too bad but I'm gonna get ready for bed and I will check in with you guys bright and early in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is day one of the trip. We are heading to Houston, Texas, and then a deadhead to Greenville, South Carolina. I just wiped down my entire galley and just did all my safety checks, so. That's what's going on here. We have about like 35 people going. The airport is was completely empty this morning and 8 a.m. is like a prime time here in Indy. Um, so that's pretty wild to see the airport completely bare. Um, so yeah, I will try my best to check in with you guys during the day. Um, we do have a deadhead after this flight and I haven't deadheaded somewhere in a very long time. So. That's kind of good. I'm going to take a nap and uh, yeah, that's about it for now. What's up guys from Houston, Lana and I are just sitting here eating our sandwiches, waiting for our deadhead that is now late uh, to go to Greenville and that's about all that's going on here. I'm about to watch Grey's Anatomy. So all is good. The flight was super empty and I really hate vlogging in public. So <laughs> see you later. What's up guys from Greenville, South Carolina? I've been in my room the last couple of hours just chilling out. I've been watching um, all the news updates that the White House have been giving us, um, obviously in reference to the coronavirus. So been keeping updated on all of that and their updates. Tomorrow they're coming out with a briefing that I think will have a lot to do with our travel, the airports, domestic travel, stuff like that. So I'm kind of anxious to see how that rolls out tomorrow. So that's my take on that. That's my update. As of now, I'll show you guys my room. It's actually super comfy. There's a fridge and a microwave and the biggest comfy bed ever. So I'll show you guys that. And like I said, I don't really have anything planned the rest of the night.
all right guys i am all ready for bed it is about 10 o'clock and i have to get up at around 6 15 for a seven o'clock van in the morning we literally do one flight to denver it'll probably be like a three and a half hour flight but that's it for tomorrow and then a 23 hour overnight in denver i have no idea what i'm gonna do what's gonna happen um a lot of things up in the air right now so yeah that's pretty much it and yeah i'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning good night good morning guys it is currently 6 45 in the morning and i'm about to head downstairs to take our shuttle to the airport like i said earlier we have one flight and that is it today i hope everything goes well i'm pretty sure we only have 30 people and uh that's about it i'm pretty tired i got maybe six hours of sleep but i slept really well so yeah i will try my best to check with you guys later on in the day what's up guys from denver colorado i'm just chilling in my room i have been the last couple of hours i took a nap because i did not get that much sleep last night um doing pretty good anxiety's a little less now i'm trying to stay off social media and just kind of do things to keep my mind off of uh, all of it. I've been watching some YouTube videos and um, a little bit of Netflix here and there. So that's what's going on here. Um, I just talked to my old roommate, Spencer. He works for a major airline out here in Denver. So we might hang out later. And uh, that's really much, that's pretty much all that's going on here. If he can't hang out, then I'll probably just order Jimmy John's to the room and continuing to just hang out in here there's really nothing around and to be honest with all that's going on right now the last place i want to go is somewhere like downtown or a place with people so that's what's going on and uh i'll keep you guys updated if anything changes I'll what's up guys i'm just chilling in bed i just got done hanging out with my roommate for a little bit we just picked up some food and hung out and now I'm going to bed. It's 10.30 and we have a 9 o'clock fan, so I'm going to wake up at about 8. They are still serving breakfast downstairs and yeah, it's a, been a pretty relaxing overnight. I caught up on sleep and I've just been hanging out watching some American Idol. Um, let me know if you're watching this season. I just started the very first episode and it's already like getting me like all emotional and stuff, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. Tomorrow is go home day. We do three legs. We go from here in Denver to San Antonio, back to Denver and Denver to Indy. So it's a very long day tomorrow, but I'll be very happy to get home and I'll just feel so much better being at home and kind of, yeah, all that good stuff. It's just... The whole situation is still obviously very weird with the virus and I'm honestly going to feel better at home and more at peace rather than dealing with, you know, tons of people every day and walking through the airports and interacting. So, yeah, just like I said before, one of those just, it's just a very weird feeling and it's just, I just want to be home with my family at this point, so... I'm going to go to bed, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, guys, from Denver. It is currently 8.40 in the morning, and it's go home day. I'm so excited to go home and just take a break. I have four days off after this, and I'm very excited. It's been a pretty stressful uh, three days, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to head downstairs and take our 9 o'clock shuttle to the airport. They are running only like once every hour, so we're going to be super early to the airport. So hopefully I can grab some good coffee and breakfast. So yeah, that's all for now. It was a pretty good overnight. Very relaxing. I did end up seeing my roommate, which was super good. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys later on. What's up guys? We're at Heidi's first timer. She told me to get it, so we're getting it. One more flight and then we're going home. Also, happy St. Patrick's Day. We can't wear green, so. What's up guys? I'm obviously back home in Indy and I'm so glad to be home. 
it was a pretty good trip, uh, minus all the things that are going on in the world right now with the coronavirus, but I am so glad to be home, and this is actually a day after my trip last night. I just got in and went straight to bed, and today I organized my entire room, my closet, my bathroom, did all my laundry, and cleaned the entire apartment. So today was super productive and we're feeling good. So I decided I would come on here and end this video. The trip was pretty good minus, you know, the obvious and just gonna do my best to stay healthy and positive. That's really all we can do in this situation and just hope that it gets better with time. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I will get back to you with all of that. Um, you know, like I've said many times in this video, it is just a very weird time. Um, it is currently March 18th and so far I still have my job. We get to bid for our schedules here in a couple days, but they're still running all the numbers from the big airlines, and we're just trying to figure it out as a company. Um, everything's just, you know, up in the air. We just, a lot of people don't know how to handle this situation, and I was lucky enough to have 40 plus people on our flights, actually 30 plus, and from what I've been seeing on social media, we've been having a lot of flights without literally any passengers and on a normal day it's a dream but in a time like this it's very very sad and concerning so I will keep you guys in the loop as much as possible I want to continue vlog sorry guys my camera died in the middle of that but what I was saying was I will try my very best to keep you guys updated whether that's filming if I'm still flying or um, just kind of creating a community post on here also, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram to stay connected that way. I do post quite frequently on there. Um, I'll leave it in my description and on the screen. And yeah, one last thing. Please be healthy. Please wash your hands. If you're sick, do not fly. Don't even think about it. And stay home. This is the way we're going to kick this thing. I'm positive and trying my best to stay calm in this situation. I think that's really all we can do and we'll get through it. So please keep everyone in your prayers that are working during this. Um, it's really not easy and it's literally affected every single person. And that's the craziest thing about this whole thing is that it's affected everyone's lives and just never take anything for granted. So with that being said, if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys very soon on my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.